Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Wednesday, September the 12th, 2012. We're looking at gold and silver today. These were the first guys to actually break out, um, anticipating the you know, ECB bailout and, and the Fed uh, uh, QE3, if we get that or something of that nature. Uh, so these are the ones that we would look for to peak first, and so that's something that you should pay attention to. I didn't personally trade silver. As a matter of fact, I told you guys I'm looking at gold and silver. That I preferred gold over silver. It was chart was just stronger, and we're seeing that today again. Uh, basically, when I got involved in this, we had this move here, and then we were starting to pull back. And I told you that pullback actually was back there this time. I told you not to buy it. Wait for the pullback. You started to get a pullback in gold. I told you when that shifted, be a buyer. Uh, so you would have. I also told you you could have traded silver in the same like manner, but it wasn't as clearly defined, so forth and so on. You would have gotten involved here, and just like you would have in gold, and then you've been trading to the upside here, and that you would have been advancing your stop. Today, you would be out of your position, or you should tighten up your stop really super tight. And here's why right there whenever you've got a strong move to the upside being confirmed by strong volume a nice break everything is right and then you get super selling pressure right there that is equal to or superseding the previous buy pressure you should be concerned on the uptrend it's starting to um, break down yes you could still jump and turn around and move to the upside a little bit higher but you have been given the warning sign so if you're not out of silver already or gold uh, you, you should tighten up your stop to the point that you will be if she moves a little hair to the downside you are out Taking now a little bit better look at gold, which is the one I told you I would have traded. Here was your resistance point right there, and you can notice that when you found resistance here, you found it again here, 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 and then you broke out here, closing above that resistance line, turning that resistance into what? Support. Now, this situation here, we told you in this rally, we had several days to the upside. We were up over the ultimate oscillator uh, 70 line there. We didn't want to be buying at that point. We wanted instead to wait for a pullback. Told you this little pullback here was what we were looking for. And you'll notice, let me clean that up, every single one of those candlesticks had a lower high than the, lack, than the one before it. High point, lower high, lower high. As soon as that started to form, you just draw yourself a trend line right there and say, when it breaks out of that, I buy. Even if by one penny higher than the previous day's candlestick, I buy. So next day, lower high, and then the next day, intraday, you had an opportunity to buy that. It was intraday uh, buy opportunity, so we didn't actually mark it on the chart. And then she started to move to the upside. Your stop would have been here to begin with, then you start advancing it. Well, now you're starting to get a shooting star signal here. Uh, you could call it a doji formation if you'd like. Uh, either way, those are things that tell you there's indecision, and that's something else I want to take note of. In this case here, you're still looking at looks like buy pressure to me. Um, however, the other chart indicates sell pressure. So again, I, I would definitely say there's indecision in this market right now. I would take my stop loss limit. You've got a nice trade. That's great. Advance the stop. If you get stopped out, fine. If she keeps moving higher, keep advancing your stop higher. Uh, you don't want to wait too long in this particular uh, situation. Looking at gold and silver, like I said, they were the first ones to break out, uh, anticipating the uh, you know basically bailout and, and the printing of money. So uh, as that moves higher, that's great. But eventually, you will have another pullback and another buying opportunity. And I don't want you guys to sit there and lose all the gains just because you're you know really getting kind of greedy. So don't do that. You have other things you can trade. This one will peak before the others likely, and therefore I would just advance my stop. Now you know, right? Okay. If you've not been to our free website at PerfectStockAlert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free, and all we ask in return, please refer a friend. Also, I will be updating a couple of the uh, charts at the uh, website there. I keep all these charts. Uh, there's 18 major market charts that we keep at the free website there at PerfectStockAlert.com. Update them every single day. You can check them out under market analysis slash chart notes. Okay. God bless. Take care. See you in the next video. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.